totally it, but it made me think of like Jackson Pollock. And, and painters that are not necessarily doing the kind of thing you're doing, but that if you looked at a painting, it was an all over painting. I mean, every square inch of that was important. It may, it may have been gestural or whatever, but it was a gesture that was kept and important. That, that's extremely true. And the idea of, and Jackson Pollock is the greatest example. Here he is not looking at anything. He's dancing around the canvas and throwing the paint. But every part of that canvas gets equal attention. There's no empty parts. There's not parts he disregarded. And I think that's an, ab I think that's a hugely important idea for all of modern painting, okay? And I think painting beginning with the Impressionists, that, uh, every, that, that there's something important about that rectangle you're working on, and it all has to participate. There has to be this, this cohesion, or kind of unity to it, and so every square inch is important. And I think anyone we look at, you know, you could, you could choose any artist you think of, Mark Rothko, or, or a Cubist painting, Picasso and Brock, you know, and see how, there aren't things just left over. There's not just empty things. You know, they've, they've attended to every, every part of the picture. And so, I don't know what the meaning or significance of that is, but it's a little about, uh, it's not the painting, it's a sacred object, but the painting uh, uh, is one take on the world a little bit. It's a coherent, you're making a coherent kind of universe, or your version version of some part of the world. Whether, and Jack and Pollock is too. I mean, the idea of, of the dancing around that canvas and all is, is a comment on human behavior and human experience and all. And, but a huge amount of work of the last 30 years, 40 years, in terms of postmodernism, has been a rejection of that. And so in postmodernism, you see people abandoning painting, or in painting, abandoning the rectangle, and there's a splotch on the wall, and then a splotch over here on the floor, moving into performance, okay, for environmental things, where I'm gonna have some chrome bumpers hanging here, and then move some wool string through here. And so that idea of, of seizing on the variety in the world, and there certainly is this huge variety in the world, but very consciously, they reject those modernist ideas, and the, and the ideas too of a, of a uh, uh, composition, a, a balanced composition, or, or a relational composition, and so things are uh, put into opposite, things collide, things collide, in, in, whether it's material or image or whatever, a lot, and uh, so I think, uh, I, I, I think I'm uh, totally addicted modernist, <laughs> and so, and, and, it, and it's funny, you know, so it, you are what you are, and uh, 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 I think uh, I don't. You know, I, I I don't have and haven't had much success on the national scene in terms of New York, or whatever. And I had a New York gallery for a few years in the late '70s and this and that. But I think that people have this, particularly in that end of the art world, okay, the major major international art world. Uh, it's real hard to get a foothold as a modernist painter, and, which is fine, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not. Is that what you're about anyway? So. <laughs> there, was a, there was a time when I thought I'd become a household name, and it never happened. <laughs>